Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about true healing. What in your life seems impossible even for God? Is it the removal of mounting debt? Is it the return of a prodigal child? Is it the recovery from illness? Is it the restoration of a relationship with a family member or a friend? Is it the job that seems like it will never come? We all face challenging and seemingly impossible circumstances. But those circumstances are never too big for God. Don't believe me? Let's see how the story of Jesus and Lazarus ends in John chapter 11, beginning in verse 17. Now, when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went off and met him, but Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. The title of this message is True Healing. The question is, what in this story was the true healing? Well, let's unpack this message to find out. Jesus received word of Lazarus' illness four days earlier. How do I know? Well, Jesus received word that Lazarus was ill and nearing death. They were about one day away from Bethany at that time. They stayed another two days and then left traveling one day to come to the tomb of Lazarus. He waited this long so that he and God would be glorified. That's what it says in verse 4. But why specifically four days? Well, according to Jewish tradition, the soul hovered around the body for three days and then departed for eternity. So by day four, there was no hope for resurrection. That's why this miracle is incredibly powerful to display Jesus' authority and power. So Jesus tells Martha. It says, Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. And notice what Martha said. She says, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Now, we haven't seen the resurrection of Lazarus yet in this story, but it is promised. That will be the true miracle, especially when we consider the beliefs of the Jews. But Jesus' words in verse 25 display the true healing that is promised. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Many of us are facing seemingly impossible circumstances. It may be illness and creeping death. And would it be a miracle to have physical healing? Absolutely. Will that happen? I don't know. Maybe. But remember, in the end, we all will die. Even those healed by Jesus did eventually die. The true healing is the forgiveness of sins. It's the pathway to heaven and eternal life with God that is the true miracle and healing offered to all. If you've never trusted in Jesus as Lord and Savior, 
I encourage you, I plead, do so. Jesus said, whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. I encourage you, believe in Jesus and experience true healing. Now, for those of us who do believe, then I want you to rest in that promise. No matter the impossible problem or circumstance, there is always peace with God because eternity is fixed. That is true life and that is true healing.